I'm back. Okay, so <laughs> I I dipped two pretzels in the solution already, and so I'm gonna dip the other two, and then I'm gonna use this brush to pour it over to get it over the big one because I'm not about to do that. So here's pretzel one. Oh lord. I'm just gonna bring it. Oh, it's fine. Over here. It's all wet and stuff, but we put it right back on the sheet. Let me try this. There we go. And then here's this is my baby. This is the one I'm hoping we'll get through. It's like a nice size, it's all thick and stuff. Soak it in there. Bring it back out. And then and my oven's preheated. All I have to do is grease this baking sheet because I think this baking sheet needs to be greased. Um, and now, I'm use this brush. Spread that over there. Okay. I just wrap this today too because I've been wanting a brush to like brush my butter over like biscuits and stuff. This makes it easier. There we go. Then I'm going to dribble some underneath there because it's supposed to technically be dipped in it. I think that's good. Y'all, come get her. Making pretzels an inch. Wifey material. I'm just saying. Okay, so that's soaked. Yeah, that's soaked. Now I gotta... I should have just like made them. I should just made the other one. I should just grease the other pan and then just move them. But we're here now, so let me fix this one up. Alright, so I'm gonna get a paper towel. And I'm gonna blot around this pretzel and get as much water as I can off of there. This pretzel's kind of big, so I'm gonna try and move it down. Like, I can move it, obviously. Just don't want to ruin the shape. Here it is. Koi fit. It's just fine. What's the worst that can happen? I'm going to wipe that down. Get some of that up. Make sure it's in there. Alrighty. I'm going to add my hopeful pretzel. I'm going to add Jerry. Who's still not acting right. I'm going to come back to you, Jerry, when you want to act right. This one. The one with too much flour. These are way too close together. I'm, our, I'm just going to let y'all know. These are way too close together. So y'all already know. I have to move this down more. No. Jerry, act right. Good job, Jerry. Ooh, never mind, Jerry. Y'all, Jerry is just struggling through life. He said that I've lived a long life. Jerry's the dude from SpongeBob who broke like all his bones in his body and like they were all made from glass and stuff. My internet is still not back on. I'm gonna go crazy. Didn't grease it. What I said I was gonna do. Professional bakers, please. Should I use olive oil or? Professional bankers, bakers, please don't come for me. I'm, listen. <laughs> this is horrible. Ah, I'm supposed to oil it. Should I just move them back onto this baking sheet? The oil's here now, so. All right, I'm gonna try to move these. I'm sure they won't stick too bad because this pan is non-stick. Oh, this pan is non-stick, so I think it will been fine. Alright. Baking soda solution out of here. And we'll see how these come out because it's supposed to be for 10 minutes. Okay. They're supposed to be baked for 10 minutes. My oven... My oven gets really hot, so it, like, bakes stuff in, like, half the time. Obviously, I make sure the stuff is cooked, but it bakes in, like, half the time. So here's our finished product. I don't want... 
these stuff, this stuff, this stuff is gonna slide down. Oh my gosh. Okay, give me one second. So this is our finished product right here. We got five little pretzels. Goodness gracious. <laughs> you see those things sliding? Get back. Get, get back over there. There you go. This is the this is the prodigy right here. This is the golden child that we want. Here's here's Jerry. Yo, I'm doing this with a front facing camera. And here's our big one who's now become a, a giant smudge smudge. So we want too much flour. And this one, TBD. Okay, we're going to bake them for 10 minutes. See what happens.